Hi all. In this video, let's see what all the downsides of the Create React app and why we need to consider the wheat. So let's see. So why we need this Create React app or wheat before that. So these are the tools which will help us to make all the manual setup automated. So for example, if you wanted to start any of the React application from the scratch, so then you need to uh, have your own development server. You need to uh, install the code linting. You need to have something for the code translation. You need to have something for the app building. So to do all these things manually takes more time. So that is the reason these tools are exist like Create React app or Vite, both of them. Okay, fine. So now the Create React. Now let's understand what are the downsides of the Create React app. As a project grows in size, okay, the, the, if the project grows, the modules also grows then the development and the build time will be increasing. Why? With the Create React app, whenever the changes are made, the Create React app is going to rebuild the whole application. So in, in this process, if you have more large files, then the process of the time consuming would be more. That is the reason it will start the server slowly. It will update the updates very slowly. That is the downsides of the Create React app. So now let's see how to how to overcome these problems. We have wheat to overcome this problem. Wheat means like in the French word, it, it's, it is a French word. Its meaning is quick. So wheat addresses these issues with the new techniques. What are those techniques? The first technique is the availability of native ECMAScript modules in the browser. So it takes the advantage of this and the race of the JavaScript tools which will compile to the native language, okay? So these are the two ways, like these are the two things it will take care. With the help of these two techniques, it is going to do fine. So now let's see how it will divide these modules. So we, we have an application. In that application, we'll be having the modules. How we will see these modules. So these are the reasons why we are going to consider the wheat. So it sees, it categorizes the modules in an application in two categories. One is a dependency and another one is a source code. Dependencies are like third party dependencies. You will not frequently change them. Okay. And it is most of the cases, it is like a plain JavaScript code. So for these sort of things, this category, what does we do? It will pre-build these things. Okay. It will pre-build. How it will pre-build? It will pre-build with the help of the ES build, which is developed and written in Go language. As we are pre-building something like dependencies, all the dependencies, the build would be like 10 to 100 X faster. It would be that much faster when compared to the other bundlers, other bundlers. That is the first thing. And the second point is the source code. Source code means, so in the second category, as it is categorized to two modules, like two uh, categories, the modules. One is the dependencies we discussed. And the second is a source code. Source code means frequently you will be modifying. And often that would not be a JavaScript code, plain JavaScript code. It can be like JX, JSX or the React components. It may be. So how it, this source code it, it is going to manage is. So let me explain. In this case, the wheat, it will serve this source code to the browser like a native ECMAScript module. So for example, here, if you see the server ready. So if you take here, the browser will play the role of the bundler. Okay. And on demand of browser request, Wheat is going to serve this source code over the native ECMAScript module. So with this reasons, it is very faster in terms of starting the server, in terms of the frequent updates also is not going to update or rebuild entire application for each and every change. It is going to pick the one like the source code and also the source code, every source code will not be modified at the same time. So that is the reason it is going to serve the required source code very faster to the browser over this like native ECMAScript modules. And here the browser will act as a bundler. So it will quickly refresh the things. So this is how the wheat is going to address this issues fine now let's see how to create a project in wheat okay so if you want to do that in an online so like uh, if you want to practice just an online go to the browser v dot new and backslash here you can give your template if you want react so you can give react now you will be creating a project with wheat and react 
okay wheat plus react if you want to include the typescript do this okay Re react hyphen ts so if i click enter now you will be getting a project where the wheat plus or react plus typescript so this is a project you can explore your things this so this is the first way and coming to the second way so i am taking one terminal second way npm create wheat at the rate latest so i will uh, type this if i click this it will ask for the project name i'm just giving my app it will prompt when you do this npm create wheat at the rate latest it will prompt certain things like project name and what is the framework you want here you can select whatever the framework you want i'm selecting react and here it will ask for the variant like if you want a react project with that typescript or javascript so i'm selecting the plain javascript here swc means speedy web compiler so i'm not selecting that option i'm going with the plain javascript so now if you see the project was created now just cd space the project name npm install and once uh, the dependencies are installed if you run npm run dev right dependencies were installed npm run dev so now the application will serve in this local host 5173 i'm opening that so it looks something like this this much fast enough it is so this is the second way first one way is in the online you can practice the second way is this if you wanted to do that in your local mission and let me show you the third way like npm so instead of prompting so instead of giving all these values so we can do something you can just prompt it like uh let me showcases like yep yeah uh npm instead of answering all the prompts just you can give create wheat at the rate latest hyphen hyphen two hyphens you need to give hyphen hyphen template and you can mention the which template you want i'm giving react hyphen ts so i want a wheat project with react typescript that's it it will not ask you any sorry it should not ask you any project name here oh sorry <laughs> i have missed the project name give me a second so here create re create wheat latest hyphen hyphen before this you need to give the project name my app two okay now you have given the project name and which type of template you want so now it will not prompt you anything it will directly create the application okay these are the three ways you can create the wheat pro project and you can explore more things on the wheat and co do consider this wheat it's a very good tool and uh, in the upcoming videos like uh, i will try to explain you how to migrate from the create react project to the wheat so that would be my next video Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.